Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a new product for you and it's actually in collaboration with another small business. So it's something completely different, not jewellery, not stationery, not accessories, something completely different. So I'm going to be going through that and sharing that with you today. So yeah, I hope you're excited. I can't wait to show you this. Do subscribe if you like the sound of that and like this video and I will get straight into it. I was contacted by a small business called Monstrous Designs. Um, I'll show you their like card here. So that's the company and as you can see they have all of these like cross stitches up here so this is a small business that kind of specializes in creating cross stitch craft kits that you can like make yourself so she comes up with the designs and puts everything together in one box and it's kind of like a little craft project and she's also collaborated with some other businesses i can't remember the name of one of them but they did this like really cool bat design i'll put a photo on the screen so you can see but she's bought out some really cool things and she asked me if i wanted to collaborate with her on a design and if you love vampires then this is perfect for you <laughs> she did send me a box of the kit that will be available to pre-order so I'll show you everything that's included and then the reason I said this video will be in two parts is because I wanted to show you how it all arrived then I'm going to go off and make it and show you what it's like so I'll show you everything that's included in this and then I'll go through the launch the price I always have a discount code and all of that good stuff so we'll start with what's included so when I opened it up this is kind of how it's laid out which is really cool very like black white and red <laughs> so that is everything that's included in the box so as you can see it's a fang design and i'm really excited to make this usually i'm not actually the craftiest person in the world i still have a cross stitch from spooky box <laughs> but i would really like to do this and maybe that will inspire me to actually finish the spooky box one but this is one that features my own design so that will be very interesting so it is the fangs design i do have that design as a pair of earrings and I have a similar necklace design too so your cross stitch can match your earrings. <laughs> I was actually really impressed when I opened this because I wasn't really sure what to expect um, but it literally has everything that you would need to complete this which is really good because it's really good for beginners as well because I'm definitely a beginner. I don't think I've ever done a cross stitch in my life <laughs> so definitely a beginner here. So it does have a photo of what the finished Kind of product will look like she's also put my fangs necklace that she's bought for me um, and some stickers and then it says monstrous designs collaborating with me some pre-gothic so that's what that looks like and then on the back it's got this which is like this fangs print all of this has like different symbols the black has dots the white has kind of like vertical lines and then the red has crosses if you can see this is kind of to show you what the thing will actually look like at the end and then you also have this huge pattern as well to kind of help you know what you're doing and then on the back of this it just has more information about the cross stitch itself and all of kind of this information and it has more information about the stitches and then this one is like a little information sheet so it says i have teamed up with the wonderful kirsty from simply gothic to bring you this wonderful design of theirs so you can now stitch for yourself and then it's got all of my social medias on there so those are all of kind of the big pieces of paper there's also her business card which i showed you at the beginning and then there's this little stitch guide which i thought was really cute and it's kind of done in the design of a cross stitch with the text which i think is really cool and then in here is kind of like a stapled booklet to tell you how to actually do the cross stitch so this is really good if you're a beginner like me <laughs> because I would definitely be reading this before I attempt but it also has all of the instructions in here too. Yeah so it literally shows you the hoops down there and then it also has photos by each instruction so it looks really user friendly. So you do get a stitch guide in there as well. And now for the actual materials. You do get this little thank you card and it does have a needle attached with washi tape. And then in terms of materials for the actual like cross stitch, there is this piece of white fabric. 
I think you can choose like which one you want to use. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe that's how it works. But we talked about doing a kind of different background and because it's like a fangs design, we wanted like a kind of blood splatter background. And I think this is gonna look really cool with like the fangs design on top. So you will get this in there as well. And this is called Ada, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, and this is the background that it will be on which is really, really cool. Um, and then you get the hoops and the thread. So the thread will be in three colours. There is black, red and white. That's what the thread looks like up close. So very gothy colours. And then you get the hoops themselves. Now, I believe it comes with this one as the standard. Um, I have used these before when I did art and it's actually like an embroidery hoop. So what you do is you put this through this and this layer does come out so you would put the material through here and then push this back up so it's really really tight and then you would cross stitch onto that and then there is a little hoop at the top so you can put it on your wall i remember where i've seen these i was thinking these look really familiar as well like the tiny ones and it's because these are what grimly fiendish crafts uses so that's where i've kind of seen these ones before and then also you can pay i think it's 3.99 extra yes yeah, so it's 3.99 extra and you will get a hand painted wooden black frame so you could make it in this one and then you could use the black frame for decoration but this is an add-on so it's not necessary but I think in the black frame it would look really good and kind of pull it all together but this one is for like aesthetics and decoration whereas this one is the one that you would make it in and the last thing are some stickers so there is this one which is a little cross stitch bat designed by monstrous designs and also this one which is the design by myself which is the fangs with the blood at the end of them so you do get these two stickers and then your finished fang design hoop that you will have stitched yourself so that is everything that you get inside of this so you probably want to know like when it's going live what's the price so i have all of the information on my phone so the actual launch will be on the 28th of april i will try and get this video up before it will depend on how long it actually takes me to cross stitch it but even if it goes up after we'll leave the link for you in the description box below so you can tap that and it will take you straight there um the price of the kit itself on her website it will be £16.99 with postage included I feel like that's a really good price because postage would be probably £2 alone or if you prefer to buy off of Etsy the price is £18.99 so £2 extra for Etsy and then international is £25.99 with postage included for that as well. So I would recommend buying it off of her website. I've just fixed the exposure. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully it's not too dark, but it was really overexposing my face. I've just figured out how to do that. So uh, hopefully this looks better. But yeah, I was saying that about the prices. So I would recommend buying it off of her website because Etsy do take a lot of money in fees. So I would always recommend buying from a small business's website so those are the prices i feel like that's very affordable and you get to hang something that you're really proud of at the end because it's something that you've made yeah you can add the hand painted black frame that's why they are 3.99 extra because they are all hand painted by her so that is all of the information she has made it herself so i would just show you her version and this is how it turned out like how cool is that especially on like this blood dripping background i think it looks really really cool um and the other thing is i also have a code for you so if you use the code in capitals simply gothic i'll put it on the screen for you here she said it can be used for 15 percent off her website and etsy from the 28th of april to the 30th of april so two days so i'll try and get this video up as soon as possible <laughs> hopefully before the launch or on the launch if not i will put the code on my instagram so you can get 15 percent off of that as well so that's incredibly good that's all of the information and everything that i have to show you today so i will go off make that and then i will come back and show you the finished result so this is kind of part two i guess also sorry if i'm looking between here and here 
the camera's there and like my phone is here because I am recording this on my phone. So unfortunately I didn't manage to finish the cross stitch in time. I don't know why I thought I could finish it quicker but it's a very time consuming project and I wouldn't have known that because I've never done one before. So I have started it, I've done some for the past like week like in the evening um but you kind of think you've done a lot of it and then when you step back you're like i've done like two lines <laughs> so it is a lot more time consuming but that's quite good because you're not just paying money and then it's just over really quickly like it's a really nice project to sit down in the evening maybe put a film on um whatever you like to do and just kind of cross stitch so i'm going to show you my progress anyway and i will put my finished one over on my instagram my instagram at simply underscore spooky i will leave it on the screen for you here but yeah i'll put the final thing on my story but i did want to put this video up during the launch so you do have access to the discount code because i wanted to make sure you had the chance to use that so this is my progress so far you can see that i've actually drawn it on um i was a little bit confused and i kind of wanted to just draw the template on so i could really easily see where i was going to be stitching it um so i will turn the camera around now and show you it up close so this is where i am up to so i've made i've probably done about half of the black maybe maybe slightly less but all of these are like mini cross stitches it's really clever how it all comes together like i think it looks really cool and as you can see i have drawn on the design um so i've made a start with that and then all of this will be black as well and then after that i'm gonna do the white for the teeth but you can see i've got a few teeth outlined down there but i think on this material it's gonna look so good because you can see the blood splatters like at the side so i really like how that looks and i can't wait to hang it on my <laughs> gallery wall up here i'll probably maybe put it there or try and put it around this kind of vampy section i've got going on over there but yeah so this is the kind of work in progress and i'm really excited to finish this i'm sorry i couldn't get it done like for the video but i also didn't want to rush it because i'm actually really enjoying making this but yeah as i said i will put it on my instagram for you kind of to see especially when it's all like framed in the black frame too so yeah that's where i am up so to i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit different um let me know if you'd like to see more collaborations between small businesses i know a few of you voted for that if you follow my simply gothic account and you did my survey i know a couple of people voted for more product collaborations so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that let me know what you think of this and if you managed to get yourself one but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video do like and subscribe if you did and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.